so this is St John's Church. We are in Kirk Burrington, which is in the borough of Sedgwick. the first for me so bear with me um, very old graves here so what I'm going to do is take you on a round trip around there Lovely obelisk there. So here we go. We have got a couple of famous graves. I haven't got to those yet. But we have this one, which is fairly old. I'm not quite so old. This one looks fairly old. And if you know about Windleston Hall, you might want to check out this one. The Windleston Swindle. There you go, Dave. Just for you, you ghost. So, the most favourite, famous gravestone here at the church, as we're coming up to it, founded in 1167, is the grave of the Brass Children, which was a murder on New Year's Eve. What happened was apparently, the farm worker went absolutely nuts while the mum and dad was away and murdered all three of the children. Nobody really knows for sure what happened. This is not the grave, but it's a little bit further along. It's really similar. It's a table sort of grave. I'll show you a few along the way. Now the legends say that the father Andrew, the farm labourer who had done this, Andrew Mills, um, was supposed to have scribbled out the date, which I find a little bit suspicious in hindsight. But as you can imagine, there is a lot of a lot of dates that aren't on here which used to be, believe it or not. Here we go. We've got some very young ages on here. So this is the grave. It was basically the year after the um, Great Fire of London. I'm sure you can barely make it out. And Elizabeth. Um, he went mad with a hatchet. Andrew Mills. We have a place nobody seems able to locate. But um, obviously, do your own research on this. It's called. A bit said on it. So we have quite an old one here. Do you know what? Some of them lived to quite um, quite old, didn't they, back in them days? Which is different to these days. Here we go. But that grave there is allegedly, well, 1666. Seven, I believe I'm sure it was the year after the uh, Great Fire of London because I think I've mentioned that before. So 
we have this old one as well. God, I hope there's nobody in there. I'm a little bit horrified by things like that. But here we go. I can't actually see the date on that. But you know, on this one, you actually used to be able to see the date. It's a tough one. We have this. Looks fairly old. But as you can see, it's quite... It's quite a old cemetery. And quite an old church. Plenty of things going on there for people that are interested in this kind of thing. So... strange because it looks around about the same date as the 1600 gravestone that I told you about and that can be factually checked eighteen sixty seven on this one which looks a little bit nearer than this which is 1872. Now, the Kurt Merrington Church story, they did actually excavate just over the back of that wall there and they found a lot of dead bodies and apparently they were the French um, that were trying to invade um, as they joined up with the Scots. You'll have heard of the, the Battle of Neville's Cross. There we go. There we go. What does that say? 1924. These dates seem all off because it doesn't make any sense to have the famous grave over there but no other of around about that day so I, I don't I don't guess to know what is going on here but what I will say is something is a little bit off because we have lots of old looking graves but seemingly newer inscriptions which could mean something. I'm not an expert. How would I know? C1912. A lot of these graves don't look any older than the grave of the Brass Farm children, which is apparently the 16th century, but that's what this church is famous for. But I shall let you be sure to tell me when you come back on. Oh, we've got the lovely angels. We know how we love the angels. Now we have got a lot of these great on the back wall, which I'm going to take to you and show you. These look a lot older. Troll around graveyards, but doesn't this look very degraded which makes you think doesn't it really and has someone scratched a day into that who knows look at this this one 1804 where you've got a 16th century one that looks about the same as that no, no. It is a little bit strange. This is apparently... This is apparently... 1798, so there's a little bit earlier for you. But that one looks a lot more degraded, doesn't it? Well, 
Here we have 1758. It's looking degraded enough, and we have one here that's very degraded. We'll see if we can see what the dates are in here. Um, ugh, I cannot see. 16th of October, something. It's 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 come off. But if you look at these. It looks like something's happened here. Obviously, I'm not 100%, but I don't know. Obviously, here we have 18, 16. It's a bit of a strange one. Obviously, happy for any feedback on this. This one is. Well, I can't really tell. We also have this here. But I've noticed this in a lot of graveyards. You do have a lot of things that's knocked down. That maybe shouldn't have come down. I don't know, maybe that's something for us to think about. We have a lovely cross here. That looks very old, as does that. I wouldn't attempt to pick it up. 1800. Take from it what you will. 1821. 1885. 82. 85. They had a bad year, didn't they? Right. Now, one thing I've noticed is a lot of these seem to have water degraded, like they've been degraded by water. Um, there's a pile of stones there. Obviously, we have the uh, traditional bricked up windows here so it's um it's a thought but we are on top of it basically it's higher up than most people in the northeast um 1851 1820 but yeah we have that they didn't seem too bad but if you look at the layout, they're right up on the hill. Now, the front So, let's have a look at the dates on this. 1875, 1878, 1880. We've got 1859. These people were living long lives a lot of the time, which which kind of surprises you. I don't know what to think about how degraded some of them are that do look a little bit like they've, they've seen some water, despite us being on the top of a hill. And there's sort of, there's a lot of evidence of, I don't know, uneven land. Um, the wall. Uh, what was that? 1884, 1882. It is very hard to tell. 1887. What I'm seeing is a lot of death around the 1850 to 1852. Maybe it's because the wheel on the hill that survived a bit longer. I don't know. Right, this is, you don't get, you don't really get like elements up here, um, obviously you get windy and you get rain, but it's not like we're near the sea, but something's telling me, something deep inside is telling me that the ones at the back have been re-put back in, 
Um, <laughs> I can't understand it. Maybe someone else will know. Some of them are more degraded than others. If you see where I'm coming from. And I'm going on way too long on this because I never meant to. But we will just see. What is that say? 1888, 1838, oh god, you can barely see. Well then you've got this one. I don't know if anyone has any ideas on this. I'm more than willing for... That's 1893 and 1870 and 1886, 1845, 1870. That doesn't make any sense though, does it? Because that was the first name on that. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, that's the See, 1878, look at that. Nothing wrong with that gravestone. Look at that. 1897. Does this make any sense to you? I get that you buy more expensive graves for, I don't know, people of what, what would you say? Of higher authority or standing in the community. But look at that. Does that look like it's had a And what's the date on this? 1885 and 1878 There's something about that 1907 You've got 1907, 1812 You know, it's like I've got a feeling some of these have been replaced. I don't know what it is, but some of them just seem really water eroded. And it's not something I've thought of before. It really isn't. But look at this. Has this... See the back not match that headstone. It looks like something's happened here. And maybe that's why they've blocked the windows up. I don't know. And it looks like it goes lower. Doesn't it? It kind of fits in. If something had happened. We've got like the most ancient grave here seemingly surviving the test of time but graves that haven't and seem to have been just placed along this back wall which I think you'll find in a lot of churches we've got a big pile of stones which has been there for as long as I can remember I could be wrong. All of this is my speculation only. But please do use your own eyes and look at these. But please excuse my heavy breathing. I do not walk a lot. In seventy two, doesn't that look all right compared to some of them? And then you've got this and this. Now we have this one. 
this out this has actually opened a can of worms for me because I just wanted to walk around the graveyard but you know what it's actually it's, it's made me ask more questions than anything because you can't have something with erosion like this and zoom behind it like that that doesn't have that erosion which makes you think, makes you think they've just been plunked down and this is another famous grave apparently he was a bit of a fat bastard excuse my french um he ate himself to death he was a very nasty vicar so the old archive show but there's erosion on the bottom of that as well which makes me think water does anyone else see this or is it just me is it water is it mud i know we're all into the mud flood but is it was there a flood and why have some graves survived and some look like this that, that literally are wrecked And why the dates look like they've been changed? Well, I leave it to you. <laughs>